Now, dabbity nabbit. You know, this light fixture, I didn't look, I didn't read on it. I thought it came with the clear bulb. It didn't come with anything. Now I got to fish and find a light bulb for it. This one would be nice with a clear bulb. Look on it, figure it out. And when you're at the store, before you get your fixture, um, look on the fixture and see if it comes with the bulb. If it doesn't, get one at the store. Worst case scenario, if I don't have a clear bulb, which I doubt I do, I'm going to have to put whatever I got on there. And then I'll have to take it apart next time I go to the store and get a clear bulb and put that in. Ah, my loss is your gain. Now here's a tip for you. If you ever have a question, what type of, what size of bulb to get, sometimes it might be etched on the side of the glass. Now over here, it's just happened to be on there and it's not, well, it might be a piece of tape, but I don't think it's designed to pull off. I think it's just meant to be there. You can leave that on there and then it'll tell you what size bulb to get. Okay, there's a tip for you. Okay, well I put a compact fluorescent bulb in there and I might end up deciding to go to the store and get a different bulb. I'll fit that on there. And this actually came with a little rubber washer. I'm going to put that on there. cap on where well, they don't make things like they used to anymore do they this thing seems a little loose on here but it's as tight as it's going to go I don't think it can go down any further. Let's see what's happening. I guess this is on a little nut here and I can loosen that up and screw that down a little bit further. I think that's what's happening. Okay. So I'll loosen that up. Got to get a little pair of pliers, loosen that up, and then it will fit down tight. Do a good job. Yeah, I had to loosen that nut up, tighten the rod down, you know, screw it down a little bit further, and then tighten the nut, and then put this on, and now it fits a lot better. Okay, wow, that looks pretty nice. Now to turn the breaker back on. Now here's something really cool about this light fixture. Right there, there's a little photo cell. There's a seen eye. Let's see if I can get you in there. See that? Right there, it's designed. I'll point it out to you. That. It's designed so when you have the light switch on, the light is not going to go on until it's dark enough. And if, if you want it that way, then, like at night, if you want to use it for security light, let's say, you can just leave the light switch on. So at dusk, the light comes on and at dawn the light comes off now if you don't want it like that you can leave the light switch off all the time and then at night if you just want to turn it on because there's somebody at the front door you want to turn it on just for a couple hours before you go to bed and then turn it back off you can do it that way too okay so for you to test it out you take a little piece of electrical tape and i've got the light switch on right now and you're supposed to cover this up now i covered it up with my thumb and i thought hey how come it's not working well they said to take a little piece of electrical tape, so I got the electrical tape, and see, you put electrical tape over it, 
that kind of mimics being at dark and the light went on. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now if you turn the light switch off, the light goes off. You turn it back on, it goes on. So that's how it works at night. So if you leave it on right now, during the day, you can do that and it will stay off. Okay, so you've got two ways to control that light. Isn't that cool? Here's something else I want to point out. Can you install this particular light fixture upside down? Kind of, You see some at the store. Some are upside down, some are facing straight up. Well, I wouldn't do that if I was you. If you want one that's facing down, get one that faces down because that top piece fits over the glass at the top, okay? In case it gets moisture in it, rain, whatever, this one happens to be underneath an overhang, so chances are you're not gonna get any moisture in there. But if you put that upside down, all any water, moisture, whatever, is gonna seep down in there and it's gonna collect inside the light fixture. Okay, all light fixtures are, are made different. They're not all created equal. So look at the store and get the one you want. Now, doesn't that make the front of the house look that much more better? Well, that's all I got time for, but I'll be back with more videos.